Hey guys, uh, back with another video. This is not really going to be anything different. This is going to be a straightforward build. This uh, case here, this one is called the Cooler Master Elite 343. Now, this case I've gone for purely because it suits exactly what I want it for. The, the, the client that I'm building it for doesn't want anything crazy, just wants it to be straightforward. And this is, it's straightforward, it's clean, it's, you know, it's made by Cooler Master, it's pretty straightforward, um, and it's, as I said, it's, it's, it's nothing spectacular, and this will do exactly what I want it to actually do, so I guess let's get into it. So as you can see here, we don't have a hell of a lot of features, but again, this is super simple. Uh, this is the M80X size, so it's not really massive or anything like that. It's quite long, I wasn't expecting it for it to be that long, but I'll show you what the internals in a moment. Um, but as you can see here, we've, well, I think we've only got a single uh, 120 on the front, but we've got uh, USB 3 on off, and then we've got small, uh, I think that's a, whatever that is, the 3.25, and then the 5.25, so we've got like, you know, the two drives and a, you know, whatever you want to, memory card reader or whatever in there. Um, they're going to moving towards the back now the, the metal itself is quite good I've tried to already put one on there. This is only a 90 so uh, There's an 80, uh, yeah 90 or 92 whatever it is on the back a bit disappointing the 90 for the side But that's okay because I mean I'll put on a decent decent uh, PSU which the air will go through come out uh, and We'll go from there. So there you go. As I said, the metal's not too bad. It's a bit flimsy, but you know, it's, it's all right. Uh, so this is the inside of it. We've got our quick releases for the top ones. Now this is the interesting part that I found with this one. If you can just sort of see in here, we've got like a little screw. You take that off and then underneath, we've got four screws here. So we can completely take out this caddy, which is good for me. Uh, because I'm only going to put in a, an SSD and then another drive uh, That's that's it. So that's great because now I can actually get rid of that completely There's no angle grinding. There's no cutting or anything and then that gives me uh, Awesome airflow straight through and I'll put a I'll put a, a high flow in there and um, we'll Go from there. I, I do actually have a spare 90, but I'm going to be putting in like a um uh, like a hyper uh, 212 so that'll bring you know the the push pull for the CPU cooler and then that'll go straight up into the the PSU and and push it out I mean there is another way of either you know instead of it doing you know the air coming from so and straight out so and then out through there um, or I can just go out and then try and push it out through the 90 but or not even put anything really on there really but I just didn't want you know the the PSU and the 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 CPU cooler battling. You know if the air is going to go like that, I guess it possibly wouldn't really would it. I mean if I put it that way. But anyway, it doesn't doesn't really matter. I was trying to keep it just like an an even straight out, straight up and down. There's no window on the side, so there's no use in me, you know, trying to make it all you know super duper look great with you know um, light LED or LED fans or whatever. But but I think this will be good. This will be um, quite good. I'm not, again, I'm not going any, for anything crazy. This will be a straightforward sort of, um, you know, interim gaming rig. And um, should be pretty cool. So there you go. Again, there's not really much more I can really talk about this. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's a bit of a, you see, there's a bit of a cavity on there. So I think I might be able to hide a fair bit of the, um, the cables and um, go from there. So that's it. There's nothing really more to say. Uh, again, you know, normal thing with nearly all brand new cases is you get like um, the good thing about like you know things like Antac or you know NXZT or even like Cooler Master for the you get some quality screws with it. So there you go. So next thing I'll put it all together for you and we'll go from there. So there you go. Um, should be cool. Okay, guys, this is pretty much nearly complete now. There's only a tiny few things I've actually got to do to it but I thought I'd just before I put all the sides and everything on I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I've sort of quickly done modifications that I've done so 
pull this around to the light for you. So I'm sorry I can't take this all the way off. I've I should have done this video before, but what I've actually done is that this is 140 now. This is just one of the John. This is John's bow that I had from one of the previous builds, and I've just drawn around it and then I've angle grinded it. It's going to be fine because in here you've got like the filter and it's it's you know you you can sort of um, you know remove that if you wish to. I think you can anyway, but. The point is, is that, that that gives me huge amount of airflow to come through. The other modification that I've actually done is up here. As you can see here, there's like a, um, this is the top mount PSU. I'm not really happy with top mount PSUs, but all that was gonna be holding it in are these like little, you know, sort of side brackets as such. And that wasn't gonna cut it for me. So what all I've done is that I've just put, I can't get in there. Yeah, so there's like a little nut. Just see it. Sorry about that. But yeah, so I've just put like a, it was, um, you know, I've angle grinded it. There's a little tiny bulge there, but this side of the, um, the computer you won't actually see. But that's my bad. I actually put a washer on there and there was absolutely no, no need for the washer. So this one here, I just sort of angle grinded it because otherwise it would have stuck out about there, which was ridiculous. I just angle grind it. And then that gives me, you know, a little bit of um, stability and... Um, I feel you know more happier knowing that it's not going to go anywhere and it's not just relying on on these two and then the screws on the back to hold it up at least that's something extra for it and whatnot else so the only other modification that I actually did do to it, it might come around this side is along here uh, there was like a, a 90 degree lip all the way along there and all I've done is I've just bent it down and you know like I just to you know I, I was going to cable it bring the cable back but then I thought that's ridiculous but it's still fine looks a tiny bit jumbled I know it looks a little bit crazy but for what I've actually got going in there for this tiny tiny um bloody case is is pretty crazy so uh it's it's a it's all good I mean yes okay it does look very jumbled but it's actually not it's it's quite good and I'm very very happy with it so the airflow comes through here, you've got the, the, the GPU, and then I've gone for this and I'm firing it straight up into the into the Antec PSU and then straight out. So uh, it doesn't, I mean, there's gonna be like a, the here on the side. So there's gonna be a little bit of airflow sort of that it can draw off from the side. Again, this is a side that you won't actually see. And um, yeah, so there you go. So again, this will be the side that will be sitting you know kind of like where where that is there and then so you're not even gonna see it anyway so i'll put the sides on we'll power it up and we'll go from there thanks